Have you ever thought about the importance of cats in ancient Egypt? I will tell you. Hey guys, it's El Hussein. Today I'm going to talk about Busted. So welcome to my channel, Egyptian Egypt. I was really excited about this video. But before I start, I want you to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to support me like this video and share it with your friends. Here we go. Cats were very important in ancient Egypt, as were any other animals that were existed at the time. Ancient Egyptian cats appeared on the inscriptions of ancient Egyptian cemeteries and temples. Many of the statues were crowned for cats. Cats worship appeared widely or on a large scale as well as embalming and building large numbers of them in the cemeteries dedicated to them. For example, many statues and mummies mummified of cats have been found in the necropolis of animals and birds in Saqqara by the Egyptians. The French mission was searching in that place before the Egyptian mission, and the necropolis was called Bobastau. And this name is back to goddess Bastet. Bastet said the Egyptians are from the plague epidemic, which was caused by rats, so they decided to fight it. As with Jennifer Kuroshima, the head of the research team at the University of California Davis in the United States, said all cats breeds currently in the world come from. Ancient Egypt. The ancient Egyptians loved cats very much and killing cats was also forbidden. Who is Bastet? Her father was the god Ra and her mother was Hathor and she was the goddess of fun, happiness and music in ancient Egypt. The center of her worship was the city of Bobasta near Zagazi and it's now the city of Tal Basta. The goddess Bastet took the form of a cat take the shape of a lady with a cat's head and holding one of her hands the sister of the goddess Hathor and in the other hand she carries a basket. The beginning of the appearance of the goddess Bastet was in the era of the beginning of the dynasty as it was found that some years on which the name of the goddess Bastet was ready in the regions of Saqqara and Abydos. Bastet appeared as the mother and nanny of the king in the text of she was also associated with providing protection for the deceased in the coffin text. She was the daughter of Ra and the Eye of Ra. It was also associated with the moon as it is the Eye of the Moon. And its relationship with the god Ra continued even when it was depicted in the form of a cat. So she was known as Ra's cat that destroys the snake Apophis, the enemy of Ra. And Bastet had many titles. Lady of the Two Lands, Lady of the Lords, Lady of the Sky, the Peaceful Eye of Ra. And she was also called the Lady of Bast, like to her place of worship. There is an opinion saying that this title was the one that presented in the texts until the end of the ancient Egyptian history. Nothing remains of her temples at Tal Basta except a few remnants. There was a relationship between Bastet, the goddess of fun, happiness and music, and Sekhmet, the goddess of war, as it appeared on some pieces of broken earthenware, which dates back to the period of the second dynasty, in the form of a lady with a lion's head. These inscriptions bore the name of Bastet in the new kingdom, Bastet merging with the goddess Sekhmet. It was representing her and taking her form, the predatory lions. This means, in the moment of danger, it turns into segment and take revenge. You can like my page on Facebook and my Instagram link in the description. Please let me know in the comments below your opinion on this video, other than that thank you all so much for watching, I really appreciate you watching and I'll see you in another video very soon.